The group with Flower Power. The group that started all the flower music and 18,000 of you in the Hollywood Bowl. Bring them on strong. Let's hear it for Sky and the Seeds. The Seeds. That was something I'd heard and went, whoa, you know, check this out. And I went to see the seats. They just owned rock and roll that night. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen. Sky was the epitome of the stylish lead singer. He looked the part, he sounded the part, he acted the part. And the group made the sounds that made them special. They were just special. I think the Bengals always related to the seeds because we were actually created in a garage. An actual garage in, in L.A. as were the seeds, I imagine. Guy's a legend. He, he started basically garage rock. His music was earth shaking, heartfelt. I've never liked the idea of putting on some music for sex. But if I was going to put on some music to have some sex with, I'd put on the seeds. The Hollywood Bowl, Stardate, April 1967. It's KHJ Boss Radio's Listener Appreciation Night, and the screens that pierce the spring evening are for a rock and roll group known as The Seeds. At this precise moment in history, the long-haired, mod-attired quartet have the city of Los Angeles at their feet. With a sullen, deathly cool image, massive local airplay, standing room only crowds wherever they play, and legions of besotted teenage fans, the seeds rule the town. There was so much screaming, girls were just screaming so loud, you could hardly hear the concert at all. Our stage performances were awesome. It was unbelievable. I mean, it was mania, man. I mean, you know, it was a lot of fun. At the time, that's a little scary. Well, right? You were bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> you could get yourself in a lot of difficulty with the police if you're a fan base or teeny poppers. We had some wild times. Sky was kind of a flamboyant kind of guy. He declared himself God. At the time, he said he lived in Hawaii. He had a couple, three wives. So he said the drugs would affect you. Acid. LSD and marijuana and... Rick uh, walked off the stage and quit. It's hard to be wonderful. And then when it's over and you're out in the street puking blood, it's almost a relief. What happened? In this film, we're going to find out. Just a 